Okay, welcome to episode 40 of Talk Through Clearances with me, Simon. So, first look at this, most likely going to go reds, I think. Um, this red, this yellow I really don't like. Uh, this red goes past this, these two yellows into the middle, that red goes past that. This red will probably end up going in here or the same into the middle. Um, yeah, I think where this red covers this pocket as well, these yellows have to go into that pocket, which just makes it a little bit uh, tougher. So, so yeah, we're going to go reds. Um, let's play the first shot into the corner. And then if I can come over to this position, this would be good. If I can land somewhere here for this ball next, then I can top spin through for that one. Um, so we'll see where we land from this first ball and then hopefully talk through a clearance from there. Wow, I did not go where I thought it would. <laughs> um, I got very, very lucky not to tie this red up and actually leave myself a plant. Um, so now this should should be a finish, but it definitely didn't. That, that slid off that cushion much more than I thought it would have. So yeah, let's see what we can do from here. So ball one obviously is gonna be this ball into the corner. Pop that, leave this ball where that ball is now. I'm gonna screw back from this first shot to leave here now from there i can then come off of the cushion to leave me here play this ball next and then it's just a case of figuring out the order of one two and three so uh, this ball will be where that red is so this this ball is definitely next after this one from there i am gonna go one so the cue ball, I could either roll through to leave myself here for this one or leave myself here for this one. That's what I'm weighing up. Which one of those do I prefer? And the decision will basically be based on which one I think will get me on the black the easiest as the last ball. So do I play this ball? Obviously, it's the first ball. Do I play this, the order of one to maybe... Two, this ball will be there. Two, and then come out for this to the middle to then leave the black in the corner. Or do I, so from this ball, do I play this one, run through to here, play this one, and then play, say, this one followed by this red. And then I'll probably, yeah, I think I prefer that route. So here's the order. So we're going to go one, leave that ball over there, screw back to here. Two, bounce off the cushion to here. Three, top spin through to here. Four, leaves me here. Five, come back to here. And then I'll choose from here whether I screw back to leave myself, say, here for the middle or anywhere here for the middle or corner, or screw back to here for this black to the middle. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. I need this, this ball to stay up for all that to be possible. It's not the greatest position I thought it was going to be in the pocket. And I would naturally play this after this ball, but I'm going to... Try and stick to the pattern that I'd originally said. So off that cushion, roll through. Obviously, any other situation, I would play this right now, but I'm gonna try and stick with that order that I mentioned a second ago. So I have to get back from, so when I'm in this position, in a sec, I have to get onto this red. And I'll explain how I'll do that in a sec. So just screw back slightly from this. Okay, dead straight on this so I can screw back from here and land here, ideally. I'll leave the chalk there as a reference. Pretty close. And then from there, I can now choose to play this and roll out to here for the middle or 
stun up to play this. I can't play into the middle now on this uh, because I moved that earlier. So I'm going to have to play that to the corner. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for option two. I could go around the back of the black and play it in the same pocket as this red. But then if I hit the black, it could get a little bit awkward. So we'll go for option two on this. Oh wow, did not get anywhere near where I wanted. I wanted to be two inches over to there. So now I've left myself a difficult shot, whichever pocket I choose to go. But the uh, obvious pocket is the one in the top left. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Cool. Okay, so that is episode 40 in the books. Uh, again, I'll be uh, carrying on this series. It's been very popular with everyone, especially on YouTube. So um, be sure to uh, like this video and subscribe to, uh, to my page to see all the future videos. Um, I'm currently in Blackpool running the um, charity fundraiser for Ultimate Pool. Um, so if you are in Blackpool on Friday the 15th, um, then sure, be sure to come along and check it out. Um, the rest of the fundraiser will be on Friday the 22nd um, from 12 p.m. And that is on my Attacking 8 Ball TikTok channel. But thank you for tuning in for this. This has been episode 40 of Talk Through Clearances with me, Simon. And so I will see you on the next one.